What's up, everybody? Then the side eight here once again um, with my Pokemon Ruby walkthrough. Wait, no, 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 no. We want to learn that. Yes, that was close. All right. Well, I've been doing a lot of training with my Pokemon um, since the last episode. Um, as you can see, our Torchic evolved into Combuskin. Um, I've been training my Puchiana a bit. He has got. He's reached. Um, or, um, excuse me, it's reached, um, level 7, um, I think Zigzagoon went up, like, 1 or 2 levels, like, to level 5 or 6 or something, um, and we caught a Talo, so we're gonna head over to the Pokemon Center as soon as I can get out of here, god, I hate it when they do this, I hate, like, having to walk through, like, all the tall grass and then get annoyed by Pokemon, it's freaking annoying, well, we're gonna head to the Pokemon Center, and then we're gonna take on the gym leader, um, this time, we're going to defeat her, because now that Combuskin knows Double Kick, it'll, and it's a level 16, we'll defeat it with no problems. And if we can train our Talo a bit by the um, second gym, we'll be able to defeat that one with no problem since it's fighting Pokemon. Alright, so let's... You know what? Let's see. Let's just go anyway. Who cares? We'll heal later. We're only gonna need Combusking for this anyway. So once again, we're going to avoid the two gym trainers by going this way. And we get to Roxanne. You know, I'm not really sure if it's Roxanne or Roxane. I don't really care though. I call her Roxanne because I'm pretty that sure that's how you say it. Whatever, it's Pokemon though. So she'll start with the Ge level 14 Geodude. Um, we have a level 16 Combuskin, so double kick will do... Basically just destroy it in a sec. Yeah. So Geodude's no match. Now it's Nose Pass that's a bit of a problem. Nose Pass has very high defense. And I believe is a level... Yes, 50. So double kick will probably still work. But not right away. I mean, come on, it's the first gym. How hard could it be? But that's the problem, is she has a potion which she'll use. But I'm pretty sure that if we use one more double kick, we'll destroy it. Nope. She should only have one potion, though, so we, we're set now. Damn you, Roxanne! I hate you. Okay, now we should really kill it. Apparently she has two potions. I, I, believe me, I haven't played this for years, guys. Believe me. Alright, it's got like one health left, so... Let's use an ember on it. No matter what po starter Pokemon, it'll always do good here. You just have to evolve Torchic into a Combuskin. Trico, Grass Pokemon are strong against it, and so are Water Pokemon, so... Really, this gym is a cinch. So we got the stone badge. And with the stone badge, it heightens your attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables you to use the HM move cut outside of battle. And we received the TM3039, which I believe contains Rock Tomb, yes. But let's just get out of here. The difference, if you haven't figured it out, the difference between TMs and HMs is TMs can only be, HMs can be used multiple times, TMs can only be used once. So that's a Team Magma guy, and that's the guy we met in the forest before. Um, we'll catch up with them later, but first let's head to the Pokemon Center. And there's one other place I want to go before we actually go after them. Yes. And sometime maybe in between this... Or, I don't know, at some point I'm probably going to go and train my Pokemon. 
because Poochiana and Zigzagoon and Taylor all need to level up. Okay, right here. So next door to the Pokemon Center, we have the Cutter's house. The Cutter gives you the HM Cut. So we received HM01. HM01 contains Cut. Okay, excuse me for that, uh, phone. I'm using a different computer for this, and I gotta somehow get the phone out of here. I'll figure it out, though. Alright, so, let's see. Uh, no, we don't want to go Pokemon. Damn it! Alright, we'll go bag. Yes. Alright, we'll teach you to the Zigzagoon, just because... We want Combusken to learn good moves and such. Yeah, so we helped him in Pelberg Woods. I probably got the name wrong. I probably said, like, Pelberg Forest or something. I don't know, but I don't really care. I mess, I'm going to mess up names, believe me. It's going to happen. It's happened in just about all of my playthroughs. Unless it was, like, Spyro or something. Uh, uh, okay. So as you're going to notice, my Taylor has... I give my Taylor a nickname. My nickname is Flare Blade. If you, get, you, if you know Flare Blade, you get the joke. He's one of my internet friends, and I figured if I'm gonna nickname one of my Pokemon, I might as well make it one of my friends, you know? Ah. Okay, that's over. Alright, so let's head over to the cave here. This is Mr. Briny, I think his name is. And he has a, um, Wingold he nicknamed Pico. Who went in the cave and he's caught by that Team Magma guy. So we're going to get this item over here first. Then we'll go after them. And we get a Pokeball. Damn it. I want to fight him. Walking away, coward. Yes, I do want to value actually. It'll be very simple since you suck. Sorry, my dad walked in. I'm gonna have to probably find a new room to do the Pokemon rec emulator recordings because this is really getting out of hand. The phone's in here, the people are gonna be walking in because it's technically not on my computer, it's my mom's computer and it's in her room. So, but you get the point, but people are gonna be walking in and shit, so I really don't like this. We obtain the Devon goods. Or, I'm not sure if it's Devon or Devon. And this is Mr. I think his name is Mr. Briny. Yeah, Mr. Briny. Or, I'm not sure if it's Briny or Brenny or whatever his name is. Um, he'll help us out in the game later. Um, he lives in a cottage outside Petalburg Woods. And if w later on we need to go to um, the other gyms and stuff, we have to um, go talk to him. I'm just gonna run from now on, and there's no point in really battling anymore. So we'll arrive back in Pelbridge City, and we'll give him his package back, and we get an art great ball for it. I love how it's called a ball's pocket. <laughs> 